we're going to take apart the New York Jets and Minnesota Vikings game. The line here is the New York Jets a plus two and a half. And before we get into that, and I'll be real quick, I just want to make mention again, I have a play up for Thursday night, and I have at least five plays going for this coming Sunday. I have a promo code to give out. Guys, if you've never played my NFL, uh, this is the month to play it. I do well every single October. I made money last October. Uh, I'm coming into this October winning my last two weeks of betting for my clients. Um, so use the promo code NFL99. That's NFL99. You get a month of all my NFL bets for only 99 bucks. Okay. New York Jets plus two and a half uh, playing in London. At the Tottenham Hotspurs Stadium with against the Minnesota Vikings. And let's get into this. I'm going to tell you flat out, the Jets are a bit of a mess. Their D has been outstanding. I get it. But if you look at who has played, who they have played, uh, we still don't know how good this defensive unit is. But they have been outstanding so far. Their offense, however, have not. Last week, Aaron Rodgers was 24 for 42 with 225 yards. That is a horrible pass completion percentage. Not only that, but he was sacked five times. Is that a sign of a bad O-line or a sign of a man who can't move or a sign of both? Furthermore, his offense had 10 penalties. That is inexcusable. There is something out of sync with that offense. Now. I don't understand the play calling coming out of the New York Jets. Uh, a Rodgers-led team, they throw... Garrett Wilson gets five catches for 41 yards. What What's going on, Hackett? Like That doesn't seem like a good plan to me. Hall, 10 times he carried the ball for four yards. 10 times for four yards. I am absolutely convinced that I can get more than four yards if I had 10 carries in an NFL game simply by falling forward. Come on, Hackett. Get your act together. Now, talking about act together, Kevin O'Connell, what an incredible coach and an offensive genius. I mean, this guy, talk about a quarterback whisperer. Sam Darnold has turned into Peyton Manning, and we saw what O'Connell was able to do with Kirk Cousins. This. Kevin O'Connell, I mean, he just has the ability to design plays that get wide receivers open. And everybody knows the ball's going to JJ, and yet there he is, wide open, catching the ball. Here we have a game where the fourth best offense in the league in points scored, as in Minnesota, is playing a bottom feeder on offense. Minnesota is top half in the league in every single offensive stat the Jets are in the bottom half. Sure, defensively, the Jets have some great numbers. Uh, I, I think I could assemble a defensive unit from Wager Talk, just their cappers alone, who could put up decent numbers playing the Patriots, Titans, and Broncos. Defensively, Minnesota had a rough second half against Green Bay last week. Other than that one half, they might be the best defense in all of football. I think we have a market that is completely overvaluing the Aaron Rodgers brand. Not only that, but I think they're overvaluing last year's New York Jets defense. And last year ain't this year. Look, if you close your eyes and you just, you've never heard of Aaron Rodgers before, and you look at these teams, you have a 4-0 and team who beat Green Bay, Houston, and San Fran against a 2-2 two and two team who lost at home against Denver, you would think Minnesota should be minus 6.5. That's where we're going in this game. There is a ton of value on the Minnesota Vikings here. They are the better team. It is a short number. I think they get the job done. Take Minnesota minus 2.5. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.